Welcome to this video. Here right now we are in a transaction called SQ02 to maintain info sets. And in this video I would like to show and explain you what kind of additions you can make based on the output. So if we move to the SAP query and then if we execute it then here right now we can see the selection screens. Um, but basically here you have a lot more options. So basically here you have the option to, yeah, to make any input uh, mandatory, obligatory. You can yeah, um, make it no intervals no extensions and for example you can also set up some default values so to do this we have to open up once again the sq02 to over info set and here right now you have to select your info set then you go into the change mode and here right now it's important that you choose extras um, and then here right now you have to select the tab selections and here right now you can also create yeah additional selections so in this case I would like to just call it, yeah, for example, ERP up, and then based on your input field, if it is a yeah selection screen, uh, selection criteria or a selection parameter, you can you can select it. That's fine, and then you can continue. And within here, you can, um, yeah, make a, a little description. So, for example, just um, selection cry criteria test yeah in this case what should be should be shown so for example po number in my case and here you can also do a format so in my case it's echo minus able and within here you have some extras to do as mentioned so normally if you would leave this blank then you have a range you have a selection criteria you can enter multiple values and so on but here within you have four uh, yeah, extras to do so the first one is obligatory so obligatory so if you would yeah enter this then of course this field is obligatory so I will continue I will save this and I will generate this and then I will go to the SQ01 to show you the output and here right now we can see that we have one additional area with the PO number and within here you can see based on this on this icon uh, that this is obligatory. If I would exit or try to execute a selection without entering any value then I will get a, an error message to fill out all required entry fields. So this is the obligatory value. So the first, uh, second one is that you also can um, enter or set up uh, no intervals. So once again to extras, selection, and then double click. So the second one is no intervals. And then you don't have any, any intervals right now. So right now I save it, I generate it and I show you the outcome. So here right now we don't have any range, no interval, that could be also quite useful. And if we going back to extras, I think you should know the steps right now. Uh, then you have also the option for no extension, so no minus extension so then you don't uh, can't enter multiple values or if you want to you can also set up a default so with quotation marks and then yeah whatever you like so then this value as shown here would be default and you can use all four extras if you want to so you can use obligatory you can use no intervals and you can use no extension and then if you continue save this generate this and then we're going to the sq01 
to see the outcome then here right now first of all we can see the fourth value then we can see that it is obligatory we can see that there is no interval and if you yeah of course no i don't have any any multiple selections right now so i just can't i just can input one value so if you like this video hit the like button add a comment if you have any questions left thank you very much for watching do not forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and then see you in the next video